what's up y'all i'm gonna just dive right into it uh some sad or bad news happened last night and it's just some things i'm gonna have to tell you guys that you guys are gonna be a little bit unhappy about you guys are reading the title so the v4 mod pack has officially been canceled and chances are we're not even going to get another mod pack period the current mod pack that you guys have you guys can continue using that for now i mean just to be safe clayton did remove all the links on his uh sticky thread though just because of what happened last night and i'm going to explain to you guys what happened so clayton was hitting me up on the discord last night he wanted me to try out the v4 mod packs i was pretty excited i told him yeah i wanted to try it then he talked about my uh all-time TS if I had one or EXP since statue it's like there could be a chance that something could go wrong you could end up dying out in the inner city and I was a little leery and skeptical at first but then he was like oh you can try on your old account and I was like yeah I do have baby champion so I went on baby champion I uh, went out in the inner city for a couple minutes everything was working pretty good I didn't kill any zombies with it and whatnot I was just checking out the features and just a whole mob pack and everything looked good however Go to this uh, mod pack thread. Let me scroll up a little bit here. Uh, the player statistic page wasn't shown for baby champion. And I told Clayton that. And he was like, yeah, that's because they have zero implant slots. Baby champion is a level 42. So they were working on, they as in him and Barney were working on uh, getting the low level accounts to be able to show on the player statistic page. And therefore, I was like, all right, I'll go on champion for a little bit. Everything seemed to be working on baby champion just fine. So I went on champion, uh, grinding the wastelands for a little bit with the new features. Everything was just really looking lit. I mean, I had the uh, player statistic page actually working on champion, the UI texture. So everything was just like had this fancy background uh, text around everything. Everything was just so much more clear to see. The status bars, healthy, nourish, scratch, so I was able to see all that. The commas, the EXP on the top left, so that was pretty cool. Actually seeing my big number above level 325 and just seeing it go up, that was pretty cool as well. The damage numbers toggle, so every time we shoot like a zombie with the raid cannon, it will show the damage on that and the uh, rainbow color cloak the bullet tracer every time we shoot the red can we actually show the boys the bullet patterns and whatnot that was pretty cool i mean just seeing me with the rainbow cloak too i mean that was pretty popular so i had a pretty good time testing everything out until it came to an end i mean i was testing it out for 10 or 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes and it kicked me out of multiplayer mode. I looked at the time. It was like 11.30 something. I don't know if you guys know. But every day. Like once a day. The server resets at a specific time. So I just assumed like. Okay the server reset it. It's around that time. However it didn't connect me back to multiplayer. For like 10 minutes. So I was like alright something's wrong here. So I refreshed my game. And next thing you know. I had the, uh, the message saying that. The anti-cheat system triggered something that led me to get banned if i believe it was uh you know incorrect and whatnot just file a support ticket so i'm no longer able to connect in the multiplayer i'm no longer able to gain exp and i'm no longer able to loot any bodies for one day so once i saw that like once i saw the ban i mean my jaw dropped a little bit i was a little bit caught off guard by it and I got, I ain't gonna lie, man, I was a little frustrated. I took my headset off. I kind of like stood up like, oh, man, is this really happening right now? I just typed to Clayton dot, dot, dot. He was like, what's up? And I told him, I was like, look, man, I got banned. I got banned for uh, uh, the mob pack, really. I mean, something in the mob pack triggered the anti-cheat system, which led me to get banned. And he felt pretty bad and whatnot, but, you know, it wasn't his fault. I just wanted to help the community out and just test out this mod pack. And honestly, it was really a blessing that I tested it out last night because if I didn't and they didn't figure this out, this would have been released on Friday. And chances are a lot of people would have been banned for the same thing I got banned for. And uh clayton was clayton stayed up all night he was working his butt off trying to get me on ban and other people got banned for it too later on because he went with further testing because he wanted to make sure that it was actually the mob pack 
So four other people, I think, tested it out. They all got banned as well, including Clayton himself. So now, like, five people got banned for it, and we're just going to have to wait it out. I get unbanned in, like, four hours. I mean, it's just a game ban. I mean, you guys are probably like, how are you on the forums? How are you on your account then? If I click on Arena and click on Inner City, uh, the ban message will show. And... It's just really tragic because Clayton spent hours working on this mob pack for every mob pack, literally. And the thing is, he can't do any more mob packs because he doesn't want to risk the fact of making a mob pack and seeing innocent people get banned. So it's really... I mean, there's just nothing to really say about it. It's just really tragic because this mob pack... I mean, look at all this, guys. I mean, this is some pretty awesome stuff but this mob pack was really bringing a lot of hope to death frontier and really encouraging people inspiring people to play the game and it's just a shame that all this is coming to an end and i really hope after all this maybe admin punk can look back at this one day and can really see what has been accomplished here and how much he can expand upon death frontier and I'll show you guys the band message. I might as well. So every time I click on back to outpost, I'll just uh, click on arena. The mission popped out. I am at P13. Outpost attack is habit. So I click on arena, and there's the band message. I'll make it a little bit bigger for you guys to see. Unfortunately, our anti cheat system has detected you using hacks on this account. You have therefore been banned from gaining EXP, finding loot, and playing a multiplayer. For the next 24 hours note that additional offenses will restart the ban period if you're 100 percent sure you are not cheating please file a support ticket and we'll look into this for you i mean first off the anti-cheat system banned me meaning that they have a system in the game where if they feel what well, this system if the system feels that you are cheating or you're doing something it will just auto ban you it's not an administrator that bans you it's not a moderator that bans you it's just a cheat system that bans you so the mob pack trigger is something to the anti-cheat system and the only way i can get unbanned is if admin pawn is able to get on i know clayton stayed up all night hoping to uh get their attention but sadly, you know, they weren't on. I mean, I was expecting that. Honestly, Clayton should have just went to bed. I mean, that's what I did as soon as I saw the band. I stayed up for a little bit. Then I just got some rest. It wasn't even worth uh, trying to get into. Because ch if I was banned for like a year and I had this band, chances are Admin Pong wouldn't. <laughs> he probably wouldn't even gotten online taking the time to unban me. Who knows? I mean, he's just that inactive. And it's just really a shame. And, you know, I'm sure people. Uh, that don't like me in some way are probably cheering right now. Maybe they'll use this against me because I did get banned wrongly in the past for something like this before, and people still use it against me to this day. And it, it's just tough. I mean, I log on this game every day, very grateful and thankful just to be in the position I'm in today. I mean, just to have a computer, have really great internet connection, and just. Going, seeing what other people go through in their lives and just knowing that I have an opportunity to really make a difference in this game each and every single day and everything that I've accomplished in this game I really work hard to uh, accomplish I did it the right way most importantly and on top of that uh, I just get back to the community each and every single day it's just a shame that all this had to uh come to be like this but you know it is what it is this is a little, little down moment for me personally but there's really nothing we can do about it everything happens for a reason and i can't wait till i get on band because it's weird because i know it's only one day guys and that's why i said to myself too but when you love to do something and you do it every single day that gets taken away from you for like one day it's just you just really feel some type of way about it and just to see something undeserving happen to me, it's like, ah, man, it's just, it stinks, man. But at the same time, at least I'm able to make a video for you guys. Another video, three videos this week. So I'm just really happy I'm just able to make this video and spend time with y'all. However, this is just for champions. So I'm, I'm able to log on baby champion for a little bit, kill some bosses, and I'll just conclude the video uh, from there for you guys. It feels good to be on baby champion right now. I'm happy that my baby has been untouched. 
but I just want you guys to know just drop your IGN I'll just give away uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna give away it's gonna be three valuable items I already showed you guys a couple videos ago what I plan on giving away this month so just drop your IGN and you'll have a chance to win a, a prize of my choosing and I also want to say that it was really just a blessing that I got banned in a good way because like I was talking about earlier if I never tested out that mob pack chances are I would have gotten released on Friday and all you guys a uh, bunch of people would have gotten banned so everything happens for a reason and all I can say is I guess I was just a sacrifice alright so I plan on killing bosses on baby champion I don't even know what the mission is did I even accept the mission I guess I did I don't even know what it is but there are some flaming long arms it is like 15 minutes of the boss or long arms despawn so I'm gonna just go there really quickly for you guys this is actually two up, one right, so I am currently in the court right now. I got a little bit of help. I already got one spot that I already dropped. And I'm just very happy just to be playing this game still. I mean, it doesn't even matter what account you play on. As long as you're having fun, it's just the people that you've uh, just met on this game. Like, I remember when I had nobody, like, really supporting me. Now I have, like, 6,000 subscribers, a bunch of... Uh, great clanmates and just great people who are always th always there for me love me care for me so i i just gotta give everybody a shout out man like i i just love this game man so just killing these long arms on baby champion it's time to get going baby i mean baby champion's gonna be level 43 pretty soon here and i'm just happy to be making this video like i was saying sic 550 four more to go oh i got another loose spot to the top left of the core. I might as well just go there now. It is a little chancy because all the aggro is like outside. Look at that. It is a little chancy. So how about I just go around, take the long way just to be safe. I don't really have a gun that's going to be able to knock back the aggro. Let's see if I can quickly slide in here. And there is loose spot number two. Here we go. Did I juke it? Yes, I did. A kukri. Funny thing is, I'm actually going to have to go around again. Low energy as well. There is a loose spot on the top right. So I'm trying to get loose spot number three right now. This is actually taking pretty quick. A couple minutes and I already got three loose spots already. Spider almost hit me. Let me shoot my M60 a little bit. Oh, another loose spot. So four loose spots actually. Loose spot number three, reactive SOX, 20k or above. That's my golden rule. As long as I get anything 20k and above, I'll be cool with it. SIC 550, number four, and the fifth loot. That was actually really quick. And this is why it's really great. Chicago tight right. This is why it's really great to kill bosses in the court. You get a lot of help. You kill the bosses quickly. And everything just works out. So I'm going to just go back to outpost. Time to see the results. So I got actually got an extra tight right. I must have looted that like on like a previous video or last time I was on Baby Champion, but I'll, I'll just scrap that too. So 15, 20. I'm just rounding up 17. The Kukri was my worst loot. 10k, 17, 77.7k for those five loots, and the extra tight raider 92.4k. So that's actually pretty good for the most part almost 100k worth of scrap so let me go back to outpost deposit all this in the bank and let's see how much cash i currently have over 200k so i'm trying to get like 500k maybe buy a vulcan and whatnot and go from there but that's going to conclude the video i'm not sure when my next video is going to be let me know what you think about this whole mob pack thing anti-cheat system thing i mean you guys already know my feelings. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. It's a pretty sad day to be playing Death Frontier right now. But you always got to look on the positive sides. And just the fact that we were able to detect this yesterday rather than Friday. That's a blessing alone. And just how much the mob pack has really evolved and changed Death Frontier. And really shows what this game can truly be. And you know we all know this game has a lot of potential. And I'm going to just say... Two words to admin pawn, then I'm gonna conclude the video. Admin pawn, wake up. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> wake up, and yeah, I said two words, so I'm not even gonna say no more. So that's gonna conclude the video. I love y'all. Like, 
comment, subscribe. God bless. Peace out.